What's up guys? Today's tutorial is all about making a big impact with relatively little effort. To be more specific, you'll learn how to create a striking poster just like this one, where it looks as if our letter is cutting through the background to create a super interesting composition that has lots of depth to it. And like I said, with relatively little effort, because we're gonna pull it off in less than four minutes. So how about we jump right in? So to recreate this poster you see in front of you, how about we delete it and do it all over again. Now the first thing we want to do is add a background image that covers the entire page. So let's hop up to the graphics panel, select photos, and in here we can choose from literally hundreds of thousands of totally free, totally amazing images from Unsplash. For now, let's just type in dance, click this black and white photo to add it to the page, and with the image now on the page, let's scale it up by dragging the handles while holding down shift. And now that it covers the entire canvas, let's head up to the alignment panel, align it to the horizontal center. And finally, now would also be a good time to lock this thing so that we don't accidentally move it around as we go on designing. Now, let's place the yellow rectangle you saw earlier over this image. To do so, we're gonna head back up to the graphics panel, select shapes and icons, and simply drag in this square. And with that done, let's start by changing its color to this bright contrasting yellow. And then let's drag the handles to change the dimensions of the rectangle to anything we want really and reposition it until we get something we're happy with. We can always adjust this at a later stage anyway, so let's jump to the more exciting bit. Okay guys, as promised, the juicy part. Placing a letter over the rectangle and creating the illusion that it actually cuts through it. To achieve this effect, we're going to need something called photo frames. So let's head back up to the graphics panel, pop open, well, photo frames, and if we scroll down a bit, ta-da, letters. So let's add the letter K to the page, and then let's reposition and resize it to a liking. And with that done, we're simply going to scoot back over to the graphics panel, close the photo frames drop down, and instead pop open the photos tab and drop in the same image from before. But as you can see, this on its own doesn't really achieve the cutout effect we're looking for. To make that happen, we'll have to crop this image. So to crop this image, all we gotta do is double click the image. And doing so brings us into this, I guess you could say, separate editor. Now to pull off this stunt, we want to make the image inside this letter have the exact same size and positioning as our background image underneath. And so while holding down the shift key, we can drag the handles here to scale it up and once the size is about right, we can drag it around and reposition it until it aligns perfectly with our background image underneath. It's important we take our time here. The devil is truly in the details. If it's off just a little, it looks plain bad. When it's on point, boy, does it look good. In the last section, we're gonna drop in our text to complete this poster design, so stay tuned. Right, so to add some text, we're simply gonna head over here to the text pane on the left, drop in our title, type in whatever we want, and style it however way we want up here in the tools panel above. And so following more or less that same procedure, let me just speed this up while I add in the rest of the text. And so there you have it, a visually striking event poster in less than four minutes. If you're not yet a PixelChart user, but would like to try this out for yourself, we've included a link in the description below. It's totally free, so take it for a spin and yeah, let us know how it goes. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you have, it would make a day if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more nifty design tips. As always, thank you so much for watching and happy PixelCharting.